linear programming problems mathematical formulation in this module you will learn about the mathematical formulation of linear programming problems the history of linear programming goes way back in 1940 when the world war II was going on at that time every military was finding some scientific and technical solutions to execute their plans to win the battle it was Leonid Kantorovich who proposed a method for solving the problems faced by them as a way to plan expenditures and returns so as to reduce the costs to the army and increase losses incurred by the enemy. Today we are going to learn about a linear programming problem and its mathematical formulation. A businessman wants to start a business of furniture. He finds that in his area he will be able to sell table and chair according to the need of the people. He has 50,000 rupees to invest and he thinks the space he has would be sufficient for 60 pieces of tables and chairs. The cost price of a table is 2,500 rupees and a chair is 500 rupees. So, using this basic information regarding the amount of investment and the storage space, he wants to know how many tables and chairs he can buy. Can you help him? Suppose the businessman wants to spend the whole amount of rupees 50,000 and wants to store 60 pieces of furniture in his store. These statements can be represented as linear equations. For this, let us consider the number of tables as x and the number of chairs as y. We have also been given the cost price of each table is rupees 2500 and the cost price of each chair is rupees 500. Also, the businessman requires the total number of tables and chairs is 60 and the amount to be invested is 50,000 rupees. So, according to the given information, the first equation will be formed as x plus y is equal to 60. Since the cost price of each table is 2,500 rupees, therefore the cost price of x tables is 2,500x. And since the cost price of each chair is 500 rupees, so the cost price of y chairs is 500y. Therefore the next equation will be 2,500x plus 500y is equal to 50,000. What if there are some restrictions like the businessman can invest at most rupees 50,000 and he can store at most 60 pieces of tables and chairs? According to the given restrictions, as the businessman can store at most 60 pieces of furniture, that means he can store either 60 or less than 60 pieces of furniture. So the above linear equation will be written as x plus y is less than or equal to 60. Do you see any difference here? Yes. Here we use the symbol of inequality instead of equality. This representation of statements is known as linear inequality. As he can invest at most 50,000 rupees, that means he can spend either the whole amount or the amount less than of rupees 50,000. So the new equation can be written as 2500x plus 500y is less than or equal to 50,000. So here also we see that we use the symbol of inequality. As we know that the number of tables and chairs cannot be negative, then two more inequalities will be formed as x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. The restrictions faced by the businessman are known as constraints. The linear inequalities or equations or restrictions on the variables are called constraints. If he wants to earn a profit of rupees 250 on selling each table, and rupees 75 on selling each chair, then he wants to know that how many tables and chairs he should buy so that he can earn the maximum profit. Let us assume that he sells all the chairs and tables. Then how can he invest his money in buying more tables or chairs or both to earn maximum profit? Also, he can earn different profit by using different investment strategies 
which must satisfy all the constraints. But his objective is to earn maximum profit, so he wants to know how can he maximize the profit. Let's see three scenarios. Scenario 1. If he purchases only tables at the rate of 2500 rupees per table, then he must spend an amount of rupees 2500 multiplied by 60. That is equal to rupees 1,50,000. But since he can invest only 50,000 rupees, so this scenario doesn't satisfy the given two conditions or inequalities. Scenario 2. If he purchases only chairs at the rate of 500 rupees per chair, then he must spend the amount of rupees 500 multiplied by 60, that is equal to rupees 30,000, which satisfies the storage condition, but doesn't fulfill the condition or inequality of the amount of investment. Scenario 3. So he has to purchase some chairs and some tables both as these satisfy the given conditions or inequalities. As the businessman's objective is to earn a profit of rupees 250 on selling a table and rupees 75 on selling a chair, so 250x plus 75y is called an objective function, which can be represented by z. Thus, mathematically, the problem reduces to maximize z is equal to 250x plus 75y subject to the constraints x plus y is less than or equal to 60 2500x plus 500y is less than or equal to 50,000 x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 Let's recap A method to achieve the best outcome such as maximum profit or lowest cost in a mathematical model whose requirements are represented by linear relationships is known as linear programming. We denote it as LP. The problems which seek to maximize or minimize profit or cost form a general class of problems called optimization. The linear inequalities or equations or restrictions on the variable of a linear programming problem are called constraints.